Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee and I am an independent demonstrator, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US and excited that you're joining me today in my studio for a little bit of crafty fun today, right? Okay, what are we creating? What do I do with it? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to create a smaller version, but I've got this super cute little box. Now I made this larger box um, to hold some little love notes, some three by three love notes, but I'm going to show you how to make a smaller one that's going to hold some Ghirardelli chocolate. So we'll look at that just a moment and a little bit closer. I've got so much exciting stuff for you today. So today started our new um, January to June 2022. I can't believe it's 2022 mini catalog. Anyway, that started today as well as our next round of celebration. I love celebration. So if you don't know about celebration, celebration is a promotion that we run now twice a year. Yay, stamp it up, um, where you can earn free goodies. And there are some really good goodies to earn free this year. So um, there's a special catalog. Let's see if I've got it. Maybe, maybe, yes. I have a special celebration. I write my name on mine in a Sharpie right? So no one can take my catalog. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> but we have celebration going on and this is jam packed with lots of free, free goodies that you can get um, when you place orders. Um, a $50 or more order qualifies. And for every $50, which is my favorite part that you spend, you get uh, to choose additional rewards. So there's level one that are $50 rewards and then level two you can earn with $100 rewards. So Lots of fun and exciting things. There is also uh, with Celebration is a join offer. So if you've been thinking about uh, becoming part of my crafting community, um, my Diamonds team, I would love to have you join us. When you uh, join during Celebration, which is today, January 4th through February 28th of 2022, you can also choose two additional stamp sets of your choice, right? in the starter kit. So the starter kit is uh, $99 and you get $125 in product plus now two additional stamp sets of your choice. Yes. So it just gets better and better and it's free shipping. So it's, it's such a great way to, to save. So if you've got, when you're looking through this mini catalog, um, if you've got a pretty long wish list, anything over a $99, this is a deal for you. So anyway, want to chat about it, drop me a note, I will answer any questions you have. So today um, on the project that I'm featuring, I am featuring products from the Sweet Talk Suite. So I'll show you a little bit about that one. I have a new, I just designed yesterday. So we had no power yesterday. So I worked by a uh, flashlight and designed my next framed art class. So I should hopefully get this posted. Here's a sneak peek. I hope to get this posted, if not today, tomorrow, um, so that I can start registrations. So I'm gonna have a short registration on this one because I want to get it in your hands in time for Valentine's. So let me go ahead and switch the camera over. I've still got many things to share with you, but I can do that while we're crafting. So let's switch this over. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So I'm so glad you guys are jumping in. It's good to see all your familiar uh, faces. Yay. Good, good, good. I'll go back and make sure I didn't miss any of the comments. I'm sure I have missed several of them. But OK, so again, here's the box that we're going to create. But we're going to make a smaller version. So you can see it's got a little embossing in the background. Some of these awesome polish dots, my favorite embellishment out of the new mini. And then we're just going to do a little Valentine-y collage here. So, um, like I said, I made this one as a, a larger size to fit a three by three mini love note. Um, but we are featuring the Sweet Conversation Stamp Set and Die Bundle. Love, 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 love this one. And I'm pulling in the coordinating Sweet Talk 12 by 12 designer series paper. This one has lots of fun prints and you can really change the look of this depending on what colors you um, you choose, right? So you've got some pastel colors, you've got some, some little brighter colors in here. Um, so I have seen um, where this can really take on a, a dominant red feel or more of a purple feel. And in my framed art, I kind of made it a little more pastel-y 
I went a little bit more with the blushing bright. I've got the purples and the reds in there, but um, really kind of kept it soft. So um, you guys want to see another sneak peek of that? Let me let me slide that one more time before we jump on in. So this is the frame dart. Sorry about the ring light. Anyway, I will get that posted because I love the home decor pieces and I don't want you guys to miss those. So, um, okay, yes. So the Sweet Talk Suite that I'm featuring on this super cute little box um, is part of our All-Star All -Star tutorial. So if you guys don't know about All-Star, um, that is a group of 12 demonstrators. They're global. Um, and I am so excited to be part of that group. I, I can't believe I was invited, right? It's just, it's... It's so amazing, such talent in that group. And it's video tutorials. So each month we feature a suite and you get all kinds of great ideas. You can earn these for free, yes, for free with a $50 or more purchase in a month. Um, I send them to you for free. Now, not everybody can shop with me, I know. You might already have a demonstrator that you shop with, that's okay. Um, or you might live outside the USA, USA and that's okay as well. You can purchase the tutorials for $15. Um, we do have the monthly subscription or the six month, I guess, subscription going on now. So if you um, are not ordering with me and earning them for free, you can purchase the uh, tutorial series option and save a month. So, all right, let's jump in on this box. So what's so cool about this box? Well, what I think is so cool about this box is that it, um, it doesn't take any adhesive to make the box itself. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna make a smaller version, as I mentioned. So this was the bigger one that I made. And again, it holds uh, a set of three by three note cards. And this one holds a couple of the Ghirardelli chocolates. Mmm, yummy. Now I didn't realize the filled ones are a little fatter or chunkier than the non-filled ones, but it'll it'll hold two of either one or you can mix and match, whatever makes you happy. But I'm gonna show you how to make this. So here's what's so cool about this, or what I think is so cool. Let me open this box. Look, no adhesive. It's 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 not even a, a full half sheet of paper. So I'm going to show you how to create this lovely box base, and we'll decorate it. So we we'll have to change it up a little bit from this one because it's not as big, but we'll get it working. All right. Oh, Jean, yes, you love the tutorials. Yes, they are. Fantastic. I, I will say it's such a great group to be part of. Uh, anyway, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Jean can sing the praises for you guys. All right. So let me bring in my Simply Score because I find if I'm doing a lot of scoring, this is my preferred method to score my, my stuff. So we want to get to this box here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, I will make sure I go back after the video. You'll have a full supply list. So if you need to order any products, you'll have what you need. Just click the links, add it to your cart. You can shop. Um, and then there'll have be all the cut dimensions as well so that you can recreate this on your own. All right. So we are starting off with a seven and a half by five and a quarter inch piece. And this is blushing braid cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and score this at two inches. And I'm using the narrower ball on this tool. I know Susan asked a few weeks ago um, why I choose one side or the other. Um, if I were using designer paper, I might use the wider ball, but I'm going to use the smaller ball for this today. You really could use whichever one you like better, but um, I feel like when I'm doing a box on cardstock, I like the smaller tip. So two inches, two and three quarters, four and three quarters and five and one half, okay? Now we're gonna rotate this and I've gotta change my markers because if I don't change them, I'm gonna score this completely wrong. So we're gonna move these to a half inch, one and one quarter, four inches and four and three quarters of an inch. All right, so let's go ahead and score those. You can get that going. So I find it is worth taking the extra moment to adjust the markers. Definitely worth it for me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold on my score lines. It'll make it a little easier to see when I do my clipping of the box. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna fold along each score line. Yes, is everybody having a good week so far? 
I hope so. Yesterday was crazy here. So like many, I'm sure around the country, we've had some balmy, you know, weather. We've had, I think it was like 70 degrees just this past weekend. And yesterday we had a freak snowstorm. And of course, power went out at six o'clock in the morning or 6.15 in the morning. And we didn't get it on until late last night, which is better than what they said. They originally said we weren't gonna have it until today. Uh, close to midnight. So I'm glad it's back on. Yay. <laughs> I would be super sad if it wasn't. All right. So let me pull in my paper snips and let's start here. So let's just pick an end. So I'm going to pick this end right here. I'm going to have this end be the end that opens and closes on my box. So let's, let's go ahead and let's slit on these narrow score lines here. And I'm going to the second one in from the edge. So I'm passing one, going to the second one. So I'm just cutting those slits and we're gonna rotate it and flip it and do the same thing on the other side, okay? Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, my lighting isn't too terribly bad. I'm hoping you can see this. So I learned this box. So Sheila Tatum, who's on my Diamonds team, um, did a swap card using this box and it was fantastic. I was just like, oh my God, that's super cool. All right, so like I said, this is the one I'm gonna leave the tabs on. So I'm gonna fold these under, get them out of my way. This first one here, let's cut off just this little nubbin out here. So right off that first score line. So we're gonna do that on this other side too. Okay, so we've got those out of our way. So these are gonna be our box tabs to close. Fold those back. This next section, I'm gonna cut away both of those tabs. I don't need either one of them. So we're just gonna right along that score line, clip that away. Make sense? Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Now you could use your paper trimmer if you prefer to do that. Make sure you've got a nice straight crisp edge. It's fine to do it that way. It's whatever your personal preference is. I just thought this would be easier. Um, to um, to do. All right, and then we're gonna clip this tab off here on this one, just like we did. I just like to fold those back and move them out of the way so I don't accidentally cut something I you know, didn't mean to. <laughs> Jean, everybody's conspiring to make you buy the heart bundle. The heart bundle is fabulous, I'm telling you. You're gonna want it. All right, and then I'm gonna cut both of these tabs off just like I did on this middle section. I'm gonna cut them both off here. All right, and then we'll do this on the other side. Perfect. All right, so let me open this back up so you can see what we've left. So we've left, this is our box closure, and then these are gonna be our side tabs that fold in and then, then our, our other two sides. All right, now boxes are easier to open if they have a little um, pull point, right? Where you can like easily get the box open. So I'm gonna bring in, I've got a little ruler. And I'm just going to, if I can find a pencil or something, yes. I'm gonna put a tick mark one inch over. So this panel is two inches. So I just put a little tick mark at one inch. That way I can see where centered is. Now, currently we do not have any circle punches that you can purchase. So just in case you don't have a circle punch, I pulled in the ladybug punch. So I'm gonna use the little ladybug butt. <laughs> and we're gonna create our little tab with that. You can use any punch, but I'm gonna fold these down out of my way. I'm gonna slide this in. So this is why I marked the center here. I have to watch this when I punch this because I wanna make sure that this portion of the punch is not, you know, not in where I can see it on my cardstock. Otherwise it's gonna punch. And I don't want that leaf punched. I just want a little divot punch. So I'm using this ladybug and that little tick mark kind of helps me get it centered. You can go as deep as you want. I don't wanna to go too deep. But I think it's a really cool way to um, repurpose your punches and the shapes that you've got to do whatever you need, right? So there's my little tab, okay? Now, I also wanna round the corners of these flaps. So I'm gonna bring in this detailed trio punch, love this punch as well. And I'm gonna slide this right in and you push it all the way against the borders and punch and that's gonna corner round. Okay, let's do this other end. Again, I wanna push it all the way. Oh, so cute. So I'm pushing these other tabs out of the way because I don't wanna accidentally punch them. I don't want them in my way. 
I don't want them to bite the punch. Oh, I didn't do a very good job on that one. So I will say, if you don't get this one right in the corner, it will do some weird, it's still doing it. Let's see if I can get it better. Yeah, it's hard to see on video. Oh, I did great on that one. Okay, let's try this corner one more time and see why I'm not getting it. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not doing a great job. No, oh, it's better now. Okay, well, we'll take it. All right, we'll move those scraps out of the way. Great. Yes. Yes, I can use the snowman as well. Yes, Jean, I use all kinds of punches for all kinds of things. You're funny. Moving from snowman to ladybug. Yes, I try to use my punches in all different ways. So I just wanted to show you guys that when you've got things on hand, why not use them in other ways just, just for whatever you need. All right, so this is my box. Let's decorate this before I fold it up and show you how cool this is um, so that we've got a flat surface to work on. So, okay. First thing I'm going to pull in is I've got a basic white cardstock layer that we're going to put right on the front. Now, I've already added texture to this with the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder, one of my favorites. It's in the annual catalog. If you don't have this one, oh my gosh, seriously, you want to add that. You want to add that to your order. It's so handy dandy. It's fabulous. I love it. I use it all the time. Okay. I'm just going to attach this with a little bit of stamp and seal. Perfect. All right. Good deal. Now we want to decorate it. So here's how the first box was, right? So I'm going to do the same type of thing. So I've got a vellum circle that I've die cut already. So I'm using the layering circles dies. And let's see, one, two, third largest, I think, fourth largest. Let's see, which one? Fourth largest, fourth smallest, sorry. I count backwards, fourth smallest circle. So I've cut that out of vellum. Vellum just adds a nice softness. So we've got this great texture here and then we're gonna soften it up a little bit with some vellum. And then let's move into our other die cut pieces. So I've, I've die cut all these ahead of time. So let me show you, I've got the heart. I've got a couple of banners. That's Highland Heather, gorgeous grape and then the small banner in real red. And all of these were done with the Sweethearts dies. So I used this largest heart out of the designer paper and then the banner and then this banner here, okay? So let's do a little bit of stamping and we'll get our final pieces. Let's see if I've got a scrap of paper. Really? Did I not grab a scrap of paper? I threw it away, who knows what I did. Nope, that's not the scrap of paper I'm looking for. I promise you, I had it right here on the table, ready to go. So I buried it already, which is what's happened. Oh, goodness gracious. That's right. I've got so many scraps, I can grab one pretty easily. So we will grab a scrap of basic white cardstock. And I want to do two things. I want to stamp my sentiment, and I want to stamp some of these little hearts. So I'm going to pull in my real red ink. Now, if you want to pull in a foam pad and put a foam pad under this, you can. I have not had any issues with this stamp set, um, so I'm not worrying about it. So I just aligned the stamp to the very bottom edge of that. You could do it in the middle, but I did the edge because it makes it easier to clip out. And then I'm gonna stamp this row of hearts. Nice. So that's what we're gonna do in real red. Now. I'm going to bring in this die here and cut out these hearts, okay? And I'm going to fussy cut that out. So let's fussy cut that out first. And I only want the word Valentine, right? So I'm just going to clip up, clip up, and then now I can just cut it right across and get my little Valentine out. Cute. And I don't need the rest of it. And then we'll go die cut this. So when we die cut it, it's going to give us actually three little hearts and this little frame. So I only need one heart. So I'm going to take these and this little frame away. But I wanted you to see that it creates that. So lots of great pieces. All right. So this is what we're working with. Let's go ahead and stamp a little bit on that grape as well. Bring in the scrap paper. Add a little texture to it with some stamping. Okay, let's bring in, I'm gonna do gorgeous grape on gorgeous grape. My computer screen totally went off. 
So hopefully you guys are still there. I might be talking to myself, that's okay. Where am I dumping? So here's my scrap bin. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Where am I dumping my scrap? So my husband had this little, I don't know what this is supposed to be actually, but he had this little container and he was actually going to throw it away. It was in the garage. And I had done a Maker's Mojo event, my first one. And Melanie Hawken talked about what she, her trash bin and what she keeps on her work surface. Um, to throw in all her little bits as she's working. So I, uh, I was like, oh, I don't have a trash bin. So I was getting a pile of scraps. And um, anyway, I would just sweep them off on the floor <laughs> and then have to clean up the floor afterwards. So I, uh, when my husband was throwing this little bin away, I, I confiscated it. So yes, I have a little bitty bin I just put my scraps in as I go. So thank you, Susan, for asking that question. It's kind of fun. <laughs> all right, so now here's all of our bits. So we're ready to decorate this. So I'm gonna pull out my vellum and I kind of wanna build this heart and banner. So I, I gotta kind of watch what I'm doing here because I need the placement to work so that they're not too long, I guess I could say. So I don't want this to go any longer than my layer, so, and I know I want my heart to cover it. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this banner. So I'm just guessing, right? We're just guessing, it's all okay. It'll all be fine, <laughs> right? Let's put a little stamp and seal on the back of that because this is gonna be our guide as we create here. So that's gotta be my longest banner. Uh, I'm gonna go right there for placement. I'm guessing, right? Okay, so then I want to put this banner on here as well, and I don't want it to stick up past my heart either, right? So let's go ahead and clip this one off. Guess we didn't need to stamp that upper section. It's all good. A little adhesive on that one as well. And I'm just overlapping them. Kind of like that. All right, let me double check, make sure my heart's still gonna cover it, it is. Okay, now I wanna put this little skinny red one down. I'm gonna have to break in the liquid glue. Have to do it. I hate to, but I have to. It's too skinny. All right, and we'll put that right down in there. Doesn't that red just give it a nice little pop? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So now we can put this heart on here with dimensionals. So I cut that right out of the designer paper. So you can use regular dimensionals. I've got mini on this supply list, so I'm just gonna use minis um, because I needed it for one of the other pieces. So you can use as many or as few as you want. Again, you can use full size ones on the heart if you'd like. Ooh, these are hard to get the backings off. All righty, so I'm gonna lay this down and I'm kind of looking to see that my heart, it's a little up, not quite as centered because I've got kind of a squishing amount of banners going on. So I've got it even more or less side to side. Cute. So now that I've got all this built on here, I can adhere this right down to my box front because I know exactly where to put my adhesive because that's all covered up. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you guys because you can see your adhesive through vellum. So that's the one thing you've got to watch when working with vellum is that your adhesive is strategically placed. We talked about that last week when we did stamping on, with, on vellum, right? So I love vellum. So cute. Beautiful. All right, so I want to go ahead and add my little sentiment and this cute little heart. So for the heart, um, I'm gonna do the heart flat. So let's go ahead and put just a dot of liquid glue right on there. And then if I take my take your pick tool, I can lift this up and have that help me place it. Cause I found that this was a little hard to maneuver with that little, little bitty guy. All right. Good deal, so we'll give that a moment to dry. So here you can use mini dimensionals or if you wanna use foam adhesive, 
sheets. So I've got a strip of foam, foam adhesive here. I just will cut a piece off or you can use mini dimensionals or you can even cut off the edge of the mini dimensionals. Actually, let's do that. Just cut a narrow little strip off there. I don't need it to be the whole thing because it's gonna slide off the edge. So just put that down right there. So I don't know if you guys could see behind me, I might not have moved my head enough, but I had a sneak peek of Maker's Mojo behind me. So registration's going on now for Maker's Mojo. So that is our, uh, it's a one day, kind of a crafting retreat. It's really um, to give you lots of inspiration. So there's five of us that have partnered up and I am returning with um, Melissa Kerman, Audra Monk, uh, Anne-Marie Heil, and we have Joe Blackman joining us this time, which is very exciting. So my projects are designed, all ready to go. I've got some fun things for you guys, but yeah, it's 10 live presentations throughout the day. There's prizes um, involved as well. Lots of creative inspiration. You get the tutorials after, you'll get the video recordings as well. So it's a lot of fun. So registration is going on for that right now. You can see that in my events tab on my creativelyyours.com website. All right, so let's fold this up. So this is ready to go. I didn't add my bling on yet. Um, I think I'm gonna do that when I close it. So I'm gonna show you how to close this. So this really just folds over and the front is double layered, right? And then I'm just gonna fold my tabs in and tuck that right down in the box bottom. Well, I say I'm going to, there we go. And then same thing on the top. I'm just gonna fold these over, these flaps, and then tuck this right down into this box. I keep wanting to pull it towards me. Do you guys do that? Pull it towards your, I pull it towards my belly for whatever reason, that's how I close boxes. So this is where you don't want this, this little tab too deep. Can you guys even see that? Um, because you want that flap, it's only a half inch uh, deep. So at least on this version of the box. So you just don't want that to be too deep, but it's nice because it makes it easy to pull this in and out, okay? And then our super cute front. Oh, wait, we need to put our candy in there. Oh my goodness gracious. So let's put in a couple of Ghirardelli squares, right? Gotta make it a treat. It has to have the treat in it. That'll make it more sturdy as well. So now I have this adorable little box, right? Let's add a little bling. So my favorite bling, I don't know about you guys, but my favorite bling from the new mini catalog are these polished dots. They have clear ones. There's only two left on the sheet and then the, um, the pink toned ones. Um, I've made more projects where I've pulled in the clear ones. So I've used all of them, but I am well working my way through the pink ones as well because they are just as fabulous. So let's see if we can uh, put on a few little dots. Might not be able to do as many as I did on the original box. Maybe, we'll see. I might have to strategically place them a little bit differently. Let's see if I can grab that. So cute. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it and put them all on. Five is a lot for this little box coming to it anyway. It's so cute. Ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. So cute. I hope you guys will give this a try. And I, I think it's fun because then when you're done with it, right, they eat all the candy out. Then it you can just literally save this because it goes flat since it's not a since it's not glued together. Although man, that's in there good. My flap doesn't want to come out. There we go. So then it, you literally could fold it up and, and store it flat because it doesn't have any glue. So it's not gonna get crushed. I love that. Takes uh, less than a half a sheet of paper, half a sheet of cardstock, right? So adorable. So how fun would that be to leave um, out at your friend's desk, right? Or for your uh, significant other? as a little sweet treat or put it in your kids at uh, lunch boxes as a surprise. Yeah, so much fun. And who doesn't love a little Ghirardelli, right? Inside of that. All right, a couple other things I wanted to make sure I mentioned to you. Like I said, I have got a ton of stuff going on right now. So we have um, 
paper shares, paper and ribbon shares. So if you love to get your hands on all our designer papers and or our ribbons, it's a great way to get a sampling of each of the products. So um, without a crazy cost up front. And then once you decide which ones you love, you can buy the full box, right? Uh, also have Maker's Mojo. I mentioned that that's going on now. You can see that under my events, classes and events tab on my website. And then we just opened registration. Dana and I just opened registration for the next uh, Blue Ridge Stamp and Escape. Oh, we're going to love this. We are in process now of designing our projects and they are going to be great. So they're featuring the rainbow of happiness bundle. So cheerful, so fun. Um, you guys will love that event as well. Um, that's another one where we ship out kits and we have an all day um, event. There'll be video and PDF tutorials as well for that one. Um, so hopefully you guys will join us for that. And of course, I'll get this framed art um, posted as soon as I possibly can get my act together and get that posted so you guys can register for that. So, so many great things. So um, yeah, check it all out. I hope you'll join me. Uh, Again, you guys know my team gets access to all my tutorials and whatnot for free. So another reason to join if you've got a long wish list. But if you guys got questions on anything, please let me know. Uh, and I hope that you loved this super cute box. So isn't it cute? Okay, when it's big, it's cute. But isn't it super cute when it's little? There's something about when she makes something smaller that it's just, I don't know. It's just super cute then. It's cute here. But super cute when it's small, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, Susan, this one is not a difficult one. Um, and I'll give you all the measurements uh, in the uh, right after the video. I'll go back and paste all those in so you've got them. Um, so you'll be able to get back to it. All right. Great. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys again next Tuesday. I already have a project planned for you. I think it's awesome. And I hope you enjoy it. So we'll see you next week. Bye and have a fabulous week. Bye for now.